Hi, I'm Ann Luce, and I'm the audiovisual archivist at the State Historical Society of North Dakota. Home movies are important to moving image heritage because they provide historical records and depictions of daily life that are more realistic than, say, Hollywood feature films. Home movies aren't just important to the individual families they depict. We can see things in other people's home movies that resonate with us as well. We might say, oh, I had that same toy when I was a kid, or my parents had that same car, or I remember going to that parade. Furthermore, they can be used for research purposes, and they can also be used as archival footage in documentary films. Our home movie collections date as far back as the 1920s, and they depict scenes of domestic, rural, and urban life in North Dakota, as well as community events and travels all over the world. One such collection that I'm currently working on is the Leighton Hillborn family films. It spans from the 1930s through the 1970s, depicting multiple generations. Their father traveled the country with a movie camera and film projector, and he would host film screenings in the towns that they traveled to, as well as documenting their travels. One of the things that makes this collection even more interesting is the footage of their daughter, Grace Layton Sandness. She had polio and still went on to become a author and illustrator. Grace and her husband adopted 14 children who were from all over the world and some even had special needs. So that's one of the things that makes the footage really unique and special. Home movies in our collection also contain footage of travels and family vacations to multiple states and even different countries and continents. And some even capture historical events. One such collection is the Dr. Eric P. Quain collection from the 1930s. It contains footage of vacations to Mexico, Europe, and the Middle East. It even contains footage of President Franklin Roosevelt's visit to Bismarck, North Dakota. Another interesting collection is the Waldo Wally Krober family films. In addition to depicting family and community events in North Dakota, it also contains footage that Wally shot while he served during World War II of the Pacific and Hawaiian Islands. The public can gain access to the footage that we digitize by contacting the State Historical Society Find out more at history.nd.gov archives.